Ooh, that EcoFlow 600 Max runs my refrigerator eight for eight hours on full charge. EcoFlow 600 Max. I've been looking at that thing too. Uh, good evening, everyone. Hello, Karen Loudon. Black Mama. So, uh, we, Eric Wheeler, when money was tight, I bought 549 gas generator, super quiet predator from Harbor Freight. Yes, they are quiet. Lots of power, more affordable, about 42 pounds and needs oil and gas. <laughs> How y'all doing? Listen, I'm feeling so good. I'm feeling so good because I was I was making a, a last minute run and ditch to us to the store. And I ran into some friends of ours in the Greenhouse Lounge. It was, it was, it was pretty cool. And I want to say to them, if you're watching me right now, hello and thank you, everybody. And tell your sister I said hello and uh, guava. All right? For my friends that I just saw at the store mo uh, minutes ago. Anyway, back to the action. Boy, y'all made me feel good with that one. Uh, they said, huh, are you Mr. Late? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, right, Mr. Farmer, Mr. Farmer. That had me cracking up. Was it Mr. Farmer? Oh, and I had to think about it like, oh, I guess I am. Uh, let me see, hold on one second. Okay, Ashley. Okay, let me let me get out. Okay. Let's see. My last name is pronounced I Ah No. I, I, oh, 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 are you, uh, Linda Leone, are you, Anoni from Plant City, are you the one I just ran into, uh, La Noni from Plant City, La, La Noni, La Noni, La Noni, because it got to be you, because you just said a name I couldn't quite pronounce, La Noni, it's good to see everybody in the house tonight. Let's see. Uh, Mr. Enlightened Tiger said, just got the Jaggery 300 from Amazon today. Super lightweight and easy to use. Uh, let me see. Now waiting for solar panels to come in on Friday. Thanks for the reminder of Prime Day. Amen. So Prime, this is the last day for Prime Day. So I just wanted to make sure. Uh, hey, Linda Maxie. I wanted to make sure that everybody still remembered about Prime Day. Everybody is look out here looking for all of this uh, uh, deliciousness. I wanted to make sure that you knew today is it. And it's some crazy deals on Amazon Prime today. It really is, I'm, I'm telling you, my finger been like this for two days. Hey, Bert Richardson, what's going on, man? Good to see you. Uh, Night King said, got my Rock Pals 100 solar panels. Oh, I ordered two more rich solar panels for the two Jackeries. I, I, I'm going to tell y'all, I'm going to tell y'all what I like. Because I've been putting up polls and I said, the Jackery Blue Eddy. Da -da 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 -da. I'm going to let y'all know what I like and then we're going to go from there. Um, thank you, Growing With Hudson. Um, where, hey, GG Natural. Oh, Burt Richardson always cutting up. What's up, man? Let me see. Angela Clink Scales said, thank you for the topic. I've been wondering what should I buy as well. Okay, I'm going to tell you so far. I'm going to tell you guys so far what I'm loving. Because as you see, I have everything hooked up. I've been using everything every day, 24 hours a day everything and i'm going to tell you my favorite i'm going to tell you my favorites from um customer service standpoint now remember i'm not a scientist i'm just a dude with some stuff and i'm gonna tell you from uh customer service quality runtime charging solar panels everything i'm just gonna get it out the way my all-time favorite for everything like portability, size, power, everything, this Blue Eddy EB70 is the truth. It's powerful. It's small. It has a 
mean inverter on it. It charges fast. This is the truth. This one, this one. If I had to do it all over again, Blue Eddie's customer service, tip top notch. Guess what? You get to talk to a human being. Okay, you get a choice to call either a robot or a human being. You could talk to an actual human. Okay, on the other hand, Jackery, if I had it all over to do again, absolutely not, I wouldn't do it. Uh, Black Mama, thank you, Black Mama, said, got the Blue Eddie AC200. <clears throat> Listen, my finger been on the, on the trigger for that one. Oh, I want that so bad, so bad. Thank you, Black Mama, say, got the Blue Eddie AC200. Uh, what what are more affordable solar panels for it, in your opinion? I say just um, I like these Renergy, and so far I got all Renergy panels, and I love them. I love them. So and eat, they're like around a hundred bucks a piece. I'm loving those Renergy panels. They're a hundred watts a piece. Um, I'm gonna tell you this. I want the AC, the Blue Eddy AC 200 so bad. That I'm telling you I'm about to do something stupid like sell some blood or something. I, I got to figure something out. I got to have that mug. I don't even care if it's not on sale. I want it that bad. Blue Eddie products to me, to me, in my opinion, is blowing Jackery out of the box. Let me back up. It's blowing Jackery out the box. They got a better inverter on them. But at the same time, you need the power. Listen to me, family. If you don't have the power, you can't use the power. That's where I have the problem. With the Blue Eddy, you have the power, but the inverter ain't big enough, so you can still use it. It take these so long to dog on charge. My Jackery 500 is over here still charging. It's been charging all day. Now, listen. Not on solar. We had a storm rolling in, so I plugged them up. I plugged all the power banks up. That's what, what these cords is for. Man, it take them forever to charge. I'm scared to even um, use the Jackery 1000. It's at 100%. I'm scared to use it because it take forever to charge back up. Whether you charging it with your power block or you charge it on the panels, it don't even matter. It's just, it's disrespectful <laughs> when it comes to that. I like them. Super quality, great. But golly. So me, uh, from here on out, I'm going to experiment for the sake of everybody else. But for the most part, ain't no more water in there, baby. You got to fill it back up. I'm sorry. For the most part, I'm going to keep riding with Blue Eddy. I'm going to keep riding with Blue Eddy because these two I use the most for everything. And all I use my Jackeries for is backup power. I just store power in those, but I use these constantly. I've even been using this for some of the videos that I've been making lately. This, this down here, I'm good on that. Let's get back in. Hey, whole new perspective. Welcome everybody to the live in the Greenhouse Lounge tonight. Eco Neighbor said, I totally agree that Jackery takes a long time. God, it take a long And you got the 240, right, uh, Eco Neighbor and GG, GG's Natural. Y'all got that, the Jackery, it takes, everybody was talking about my dog on Go, Go Power Plus take long. Who? Jackery ain't too far behind that. You know what I'm saying? So uh, let me see, uh, James Edwards, hey brother Led, I'm in the Bahamas and I'm using six 100 watts Texas solar panels and six 100 rich watt, I just bought two rich solar panels. Um, and all polycrystalline panels pay $79 each. Woo, oh, you got a steal. You, you robbed them, son. So, hey, Quincy Cuthbert. Kof Say so, hello, Led. They have eco flows on sale. Yes, they do. So let me see. Uh, that's a good question right there. Ebony R, which blue eddies in your new red one? Which blue eddy is your new red one? This is the EB70. This is the 716 watt. I'm going to bring you in closer because ain't no need to keep on staring at me. This is the truth. 
it look it's fully charged and i i charge this one off of solar but the rest of my charge off the power banks because we got a storm brewing right now but this is so beautiful you're beautiful you're beautiful it's true now i'm gonna tell you something i don't like about it you don't know when these buttons let me stop talking so loud i'm excited you don't know when these buttons are on. See that little green light? You don't because it's not on. But look when I cut it on. You can barely see it. So to check your screen out, you need to hit the button, right? When this goes off, you need to hit the button to show the screen. Well, if you accidentally hit that a little too long or short, I don't know. You will cut all of your stuff off over here. So that's a big problem for me. I didn't like that at all. There's no power button. And to me, trust me, I didn't think it was a big deal. It's a big deal. Because everything in my little 12 volt refrigerator, freezer, thawed out. Because I didn't know that was off. And if I didn't go in my Bouge RV 12 volt refrigerator, freezer, I, I would have had a mess. So, hey, what's up, uh, Ask Guy? So, okay, yeah, man, yeah, yeah. So, this is what I'm telling y'all right now. I'm giving y'all my opinion because uh, Prime Day, this is the last day for it, and I know a lot of people, your money is burning a hole in your pocket and you don't know which one to pick. It's a lot of choices out there, but if you're looking around the 400-ish area between this let me, um, ugh, between the Jackery 500 and the EB70, it's no contest. Let me plug my refrigerator back up. It is no contest. The EB70 wins hands down, even though this got a better inverter in it. This one wins hands down because it's 716 watts, 500 watts. 400 and some change, 5 and some change. I don't care how you cut it. This is the winner all around, all around. And this ain't too much. This is heavier. This got, uh, I forget the, the LifePo battery in it. This got the LifePo batteries in it, so it's heavier but I'm telling you, it's worth every cent. It's worth the wait, like my wife's book. Hey, how you doing, Marie? Hey, Marie Vegetable Garden, I ain't seen you in forever. How you doing? Uh, have I ever heard of the To Go 650? No, I haven't. And you know something else, I'm gonna say this too. Um, I just got through watching Ask, Ask Ives' video, and even my brother said something about, uh, cause everybody keep asking me about Patriots. For Patriots, man, when you said that, I almost, I almost spit out my dog on water. When you was like, I ain't feeling them. It's something, you know what I'm saying? I, I'm not feeling them at all, man. I, I've been reading up on them because I keep seeing the commercial and the reviews everybody keep putting out. I'm, I'm not feeling them, man. Uh, yes, they are all solar generators. And here's the. Oh, wait a minute. Let me unplug. That go to the panels out there. And I'm going to tell y'all how I got my panels hooked up. How I got them set up. And I'm going to tell you. Say, yeah, uh, they're ripoffs. Man, I believe it, man. They on every single commercial. And I don't, I just, I'm not feeling them. Man. I'm not going to get into it because I ain't going to go there. But I'm not feeling them just like it's another company I'm not feeling. Say, I can run a 5,000 BTU on a Jackery 300. Yo, you asking? And no, you cannot. <laughs> no, you cannot. I'm going to say this. I'm going to say this. If you have the Jackery 240, if you have, I ain't even going to say the name. I ask God, you said it earlier. That 300 watt is a sweet spot for stuff like phones, laptops, stuff like that. But I'm telling you, if you really trying to run some some stuff like your house refrigerator for a small amount of time, remember that a short amount of time, you want to go 500 watts and up, 500 watts and up. 
How you doing, Marmar? Anything below that, you're talking about laptops, uh, cell phones. Uh, look, which is new to me. Uh, um, USB fan, which I didn't know was this powerful. This thing is powerful. USB fan, who thought? So, uh, instead of me keep, you know it's hot in my house, so instead of me keep on patting my face, I just said, let me try this little USB fan off. And it's really working. Look, no shine or nothing. Say, Dream, Blue Eddy AC200, solar power generator with panels included, 2,000 watt portable, soul portable station with three. Yes, that's my dream too. I wouldn't, me personally, I don't think I would want the panels because they just, for the price, I would just want the, the unit and buy my own panels. Oh, Anthony G said they, they garbage too. Man, I'm just, I keep hearing that. I keep hearing the same thing. TLC in the garden say I got the same fan. <laughs> I love this thing. Matter of fact, I'm going to get a couple more. Uh, let me see. My USB fan has lights. I, I didn't need no lights. I ain't trying to have a seizure looking at the fan spin. <laughs> um, let me see. So this is what I want to ask you guys. Panels are included. Yeah, the panels are included, but they, they also have one that doesn't come with the panels, and it's cheaper and if you add up the price with, of the panels, the fold-up panels versus hard panels, you got to ask yourself, where are you going? Are you, going, are you planning on leaving? You're getting this. If, you, if you're getting a big, giant AC200 to leave all the time or for mobile all the time, fold-up panels is good. But if you plan on keeping it here like this, you want to invest in some hard panels. This is going to stay outside all the time. You don't want to leave them fold-up panels outside all the time. I found that out. I'm like, I can already see the sun bake on the, on the, the cover. Matter of fact, I can already see it kind of, kind of fading. It used to be like deep, deep, dark black. But now it's like a little sun baked and starting to fade a little bit. They, they, want, they really are great. But they're not made to be left out in the, in the rain and in the hot weather all day, every day. This is just for you leaving you on your boat or you leaving you on your camping trip. These are not built at all to be outside constantly. So I keep those now. I'm going to just keep those for when we, when we roll out. Uh, L.A. Gun said, I knew you would love the EB-70. It's great. You will love the AC200. Listen to me. I'm getting the AC200. I don't care how much it's going to cost me. I don't care what I got to do. No, let me take that back. I'm going to get the AC200. I am. Because it is, it is everything. Let me see. Heartbroken. I ordered Cancel Jackery 160 after watching this. This is confusing. Well, you did right. I'm going to say you did right. Because you know what? 160 watts. Depending on your, 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 what are you using it for? Okay. What are you using it for? Because this is the last day for the sale, but don't let that bother you. Don't do nothing rash. Okay. But I need you to, I need you to ask yourself this question. What are you getting this power for? Why are you doing this? Are you doing this because we making videos about it constantly or you need some backup? Now the question is what kind of backup? What are you trying to power and why? You got to write this stuff down and ask yourself these questions or you'll get a whole bunch of nothing. I'm going to say this. I'm going to give you, let me see. Uh, Cash Mill said, I wouldn't get the AC200 better off buying the EB150 and the EB. No, you can't, you, but it depends on what people want and what they need it for. Because I'm going to be honest with you. If I had it all to do over again, I would only, have, if I had two, I would have the AC200 and I would have the EB70. If I, if I had it all to do over again, because I, the AC200, I want the power and of the inverter and I want the storage. But then I want this to be able to have the power and to pick up and go and have everything I need on the road. But the AC200... That's the everything. So I'm going to say this. 
if you're going to if you're going to invest, thank you Judy Dudley. If you're going to invest in solar power, don't don't be um <laughs> don't be hasty. Cuz you're going to end up you're going to buy one then you're going to turn around and you're going to buy another one. Then you're going to buy another one. Then you're going to buy another one. Because each one has something a little bit different. Each one has something that I like and something that I hate. But I say, don't be hasty. Save your coins. And get what you really, really need, not want, what you need. I need the AC 200. What is nice is this EB70. If I myself, in my own opinion, had it all to do over again, I would, I would leave Jackery at, at the place where they built it at. Okay? The reason I would is because they're nice, man. They're nice and they're powerful, but they ain't beating these. They're just not. They're just, they're just not. And they seem like they are keep trying to keep up with them. And, and all the smaller power, it depends on what you're trying to power. Say I literally be dreaming about the EB70. I was dreaming about the AC200. Listen, I had a dream the other day where I was sitting there messing with the plugs and you see the screen and all the stuff. I'm trying to figure out the screen and I don't even know what's on the screen, but I figured it out all night. I woke up smiling. So I would just save my money and just get what you need first. Get what you need first. And if you don't know what you need, that's when you ask the question, why am I buying this? What am I trying to power and why? You ask yourself those questions, that's what you need. Now, what you want is a whole nother ball game. What you want, what you need. I say two, two at the most solar, and then you get a gas or get a solar, gas, solar. That's what I would do. This, if I had a choice to which one would I get? Would I get this first or this first? This first or the AC 200 first? I would get this first. I would get the Blue Eddy EB70 first before I stepped up into the, the uh, mainstream, the big boy house. This is so close to the big dog right here. This is close. So they got the Generac 5500, but I need to get a tri-fuel converter. Um, let me see. Hey, Ellie gonna say, once you bought the smaller units, you will figure out you need more power. Amen to that. Because once you get the smaller ones and see how fast the power drains after you plug in everything into them, you're going to be like, hmm, okay, I got... 300, uh, I got 200 watts going out with all the stuff I plugged in and my solar panel with the sun is cloudy is bringing in 100 watts. This ain't going to pan out well. You're going to start doing that math. I got this whole station set up right here at my window for a reason because I'm testing everything and I'm finding out, you know, the sun ain't always in your favor. See, I just got the Jackery 500 and the 100 watt panels. I'm set. All right, humble lion. Let me see. Uh, let me see. Lynn, Lynn says, how do you use the generator in multiple rooms at the same time? You don't. You, you don't. Uh, EB70 is really a steal. That's the truth. This one, I'm in love with this one. And I unplugged everything just for this video. Every, all the plugs is on the floor. I got the Jackie 300 and 100. Oh, okay. And the 100 watt panel on Prime Day. So, yeah. Let me see. Uh oh. I missed one. Okay. Let me see. That's how I got hooked. Love the units and so many now. Um, Braveheart RV say, 
I bought an abandoned house with no electric cables. Can I rebuild the house on solar with the refrigerator, washer, dryer, etc.? Is it possible? It's possible, but you're going to need something. You Listen, my advice to you, what you're trying to do, you need to build, build your own solar system. This is for getting up and rolling and going out and leaving, you know, camping, fishing, backyard, barbecues. This is for that. What you're trying to do is rebuild a house and you need power, like to rebuild the whole house. You're going to want to build a setup because you're trying to run refrigerators and freezers and stuff. Don't even do this. I've been just cutting to the chase and telling people, if you're trying to run your whole house, don't do this. Because you're going to be disappointed. Let me see. If Blue Eddie set up their display panels, no one, no one would buy anything else. Let me see. Can I run a, can I run a five cubic freezer on a Jackie 300? You got to check your watts, okay? Here, here we go again. <laughs> you got to buy one of these before you buy one of those. Buy one of these before you buy one of those. Everybody, buy one of these before you buy one of those. This is going to tell you exactly how many watts your deep freezer needs. How many amps, all of that. Then you're going to say, okay, my freezer uses 175 watts. You buy a Jackery 300, 300 watt hours. How long is that going to run? Two hours. You got a deep freezer running for two hours. So you got to buy a kilowatt meter to tell you that before you go buy that. Because this is going to keep you from buying that. It's going to keep you from wasting your money. Listen, around 20 something dollars for this is going to keep you from wasting $500. $20 is going to save you $500 because this will let you know that this will not work for you. So even if you buy this once and never use it again, it was $20, you buy a cheap pair of shoes for $20, some sandals in summertime, this going to save you some money in your household. I promise you this. This is a tool that everybody can use. It's easy. All you do is hit watts and boom, it's going to tell you what you need. Whole new perspective. Uh, oh, hey, New Orleans Gardener. I, I don't see you, but I see whole new perspectives. Just say, hey. Said so freezers use more on surge usually than actual running wattage. Very true, but this is, this is my concept. I mean, this is how I think. Okay. Let's break it down. If you're going to spend... Listen to me close. If you are going to spend $300 on a 300 watt unit that's only going to run your deep freezer, let's just say when the compressor is on, it's going to run it. That compressor is going to stay on, let's just say, for 30 minutes. So you're going to get roughly four hours out of that somewhere in the neighborhood. Okay? And then it's done for, right? Why would you spend $300 just to keep your food cold for three or four hours instead of getting something, spending your $300 on something like this, a 12-volt refrigerator from Bouge RV? Why would this holds just as much food and keeps everything froze with? Not that one. Oh, I unplugged it again. I was just telling y'all about this. Unplugged it. But this right here keeps everything frozen when it's plugged up. Frozen. Let me show you. I've showed y'all this before. Now I'm going to show you into this one. Let me unplug it. This one holds tons of food. Tons of it. I can't even pull the thing out. Tons of food. It's super deep. Guess what? That only runs off of like 50 watts. 50 watts. You spend that money for a 12-volt deep freeze refrigerator. Refrigerator, freezer. Mind you, that's a freezer and a refrigerator at the same time. Why would... 
how deep I stuck my arm in that deep. Think about it. I'm going to do, I'm going to release the video on it, but just bear with me. So your $300 will be going on a freezer that can run off of something small as a Jackery 300 or 500 later. But that thing don't eat no watts, even if you plug it into the wall, you know? So in an emergency, you have something that you can really depend on and you're going to really run it and be able to run it off of solar. So if you're running it off of solar, you're going to run that deep freezer indefinitely every day, every night, because at night it's going to be running off of your, your power generator, right? In a day, it's going to be running off of solar power. With a big house freezer, even with your solar power, your solar panels up on a bright, bright day, I'm telling you, it's not optimal. You're going to have to run wires outside of your house, wherever your deep freezer is. Your deep freezer might be in the garage. That means you got to run some wires somewhere, not just out your garage. You got to have those panels. To, hey, uh, stop doing that mystery, please. Thank you, my friend. Um, as a matter of fact, no. There we go. There we go. Cause cause you you keep coming in here doing that. Yeah. There we go. There we go. There we go. So anyway, like I was saying, um, you you're gonna have to put those panels in the sunlight. In the sunlight. So just because you <laughs> you see I shift that sucker out. Wished him to the cornfield. I put some butter in his pocket and sprinkled some salt on top of his head and kicked his tail right into the cornfield. Man, go on with that nonsense. Anyway, your panels. Listen, I do not want my panels right here in the middle of nowhere. But that's the prime location of where my sun comes up. And when the sun goes down, I flip them the opposite direction and face the sun going that way. I don't want my panels right there. That's right in front of my, my garden. But that's, that's where the sun is. So you can't pick, just like your garden, you can't pick and choose where you want your trees all the time. They're going to tell you, I don't like it here. Your solar panel, you got to put your solar panels where you're going to get sunlight. Okay. So I don't want, the only reason I'm, I'm saying this stuff, because I don't want you to think unrealistically. It's a lot to this where you're going to be like, hey, I never thought about it, but trees cover our whole entire lawn and house. We don't get no sunlight. It's a lot of people that emailed me that don't get no sunlight on their land. And they went out and bought the Blue 80 uh, EB-150. And the fold up solar can't do nothing with it. You got to think about that. Okay, it's a little, it's the little details in there that's going to throw you off. I don't care what kind of solar you got. Uh, let me see. Ask God said, I need to do research that voltage stuff at the soil. Oh, okay. So, yeah, Bougie RV is important, especially when you grow your own food and can't can everything. That's right. That's right. Hey, Uncut Gems, how you doing? Uh, let me see. So if you if you don't have a south-facing area or a decent sunshine, it's like gardening. You won't grow much. Right. You won't, you will not harvest any sunlight. What we're trying to do is like a farm. You're harvesting sunlight. You're planting solar panels and harvesting sunlight. This is like canning and storing away your power it's the same thing and if you put it in the wrong place it's not going to, it's not going to prosper let me see uh my land is covered in trees i'm one of those individuals see uh candace yep it, it'll be hard to have solar so you might even want to think start thinking more towards propane generators or diesel pro, uh, or gas generator because solar might not do nothing for you. Hey, New Orleans Gardener. Say, that's why I'm trying to get it jumping. I have a south-facing house and get tons of sun. Well, you good to go, Courtney. 
Oh, what? I did this again. Hold on, y'all. I don't, I don't know how I always do this. I got to stop doing There we go. I don't know how I do that. I'm very lucky to have tons of sun and tons of trees. Me too. I get tons of sun and tons of trees. Would you still buy the Blue Eddy AC200? I would buy it right now. If I had the money right now, I would buy it right now. I got a lot going on in my life right now, so I got to kind of hang on to my coins. But I promise you, I promise you, if I had, if I could sell, if I could sell both my Jackeries, I would buy it right now. If I sold this and sold this, I do like this. But if I would sell this and sell the 1000 like that, if I could sell them, I would get rid of both of these jokers and get the uh, Blue Eddy AC200 like that. I wouldn't even question it. I wouldn't even think about it. I will. I want it so bad. <laughs> I want it so bad. I would gamble. When I say gamble, I would say, say somebody said, okay, I'm gonna buy it. I'm gonna have my money on Friday. I would literally sell it to them without getting the money first. And right there, I would call Blue Eddie and be like, listen, okay, order. Yep. I want that one. Yes. Put the panels on it. Yes. I would do it. That person might, you know, be like, yeah, man, you know, I couldn't do it. I had a light bill, I had to pay. The baby needed some diapers. And I'd just be like, ah, bruh, I'd just be out of money. But I, that's how bad I want it. Uh, do you store any of the power in batteries? No. Which, Devon, I'm thinking about. Because I'm going to tell you something, y'all. Listen, for the people that's just getting into the solar game like me, well, the mobile solar, one thing I'm finding out is on a good, sunny, long, sunny day, I can charge everything, and then I still got about four or five hours left that I'm wasting power. It's, everything is full, so where's your power going? You can't put it nowhere. I need more storage. It's like your computer. It's like your phone. Think about this. Like your cell phone. You run out of data fast, right? So you got to buy more or put it in the cloud. Well, that's the same thing. Once you fill all of these up, you need somewhere to put that extra power because it's, it's power being generated just going to waste. Just going to waste. And I'll be like, man, what can I plug it into? I start plugging everything into these to just drain them down just to keep, it, keep the power coming in. Uh, let me see. I'm working on getting the e EcoFlow Pro. And yes, you can get a battery add on the boost. Boost it from 7 to 1400. I heard about that. Let me see. Hey, Game Nerd Mom. Let me see. AC is 60 pounds and not very mobile. I'm not getting it to be mobile. I got, I got mobile. That's what I was talking about. Mobile. Then you want something to sit around the house or sit around your campsite. You don't, this is my pick up and go stuff. This is my sit still and run the deep freezer, refrigerators, lights and phones and cameras and all of that stuff. So we're looking to solar set up on our RV. You might want to look in, go, go with this. This is what I've been using on our RV. These are not even dirty because I've been using them in the house. Like, uh, everyone know <clears throat> no names of propane generators. <clears throat> no, I'm not. I'm not familiar. I know the Honda has an adapter. You can um, add it on the Honda EU 2200i for propane. Can you use water power generators? I I don't. I don't know. I've never seen one. If you're talking about, is, is there one like this? I've never seen it. If you're talking about building one, um, right now we're, we're working our way to a drought. So I, I think we kind of may need to steer clear of water power generators. You know what I'm saying? If, if you're going to spend your money, I would go with something more uh, solar, gasish, because this the drought is for real right now. It's not it's not a you know it's not a game. It's serious. It's happening. Uh predator 
Predator 8750 can be a propane generator. Let me see. 12 volt slow cooker. <laughs> All right, oh, with the 12 volt slow cooker, that's another one you might want to think about that. You might want to think about that one. I wouldn't waste my money on that. Uh, major concerns in, okay, I'm not, I'm not going to do that one. Uh, have you plugged the RV up to it? Yes. Yes, I did. And I'm going to be honest. The Jackery 1000 runs everything except the AC. The Blue Eddy 1500 runs everything except the AC. The EB70 runs everything except the AC. And the 500, I'm not even going to attempt it. So I will have, with the EB150, I will be running both TVs, refrigerator, freezer, um, all the lights on the inside, everything on the RV, my water pumps, everything, and it will be just fine. TNT say got 300 watt portable washing machine. I've been looking at them. 300 watt portable washing machine. Oh, 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 oh to go on the RV. Yeah, I've been looking at them. For how long? It depends on how long you, how long you're gonna use. How long you gonna watch TV or, you know. Usually I'm I'm enjoying my family's company when I'm in there. We ain't just sitting around just watching TV. I could have stayed home for that. So I, I'm not sure. I haven't tried it. One night we had a movie night. And we watched two movies off of this one. And all the lights and stuff was on. I never even thought about it. So can you have something plugged in while charging? Yes. Everything I have, Jackery 1000, Jackery 500, uh, Blue Eddy EB70, Blue Eddy EB150, everything has passed through charging. Right now, the solar panels will be hooked up and I could be running something while the solar panels are charging. So it'll be charging and being used all at the same time. Whole new perspective. Okay, let me see. Five five gallon bucket in. Okay, let me see. Oh, wow, I'm late. Okay. I'm saving up for the Blue Eddy 2400. Laura Dixon, you know what? I was on the fence between the Blue Eddy 2400 and the Blue Eddy AC 200. I was on the fence. But if you got a, if you got a lot of these, you got storage, you got capacity cuz that's the only thing that Blue Eddy 2400 had was more storage. That's the only thing. It still has a 1000 watt inverter just like this one. So it's not going to run anything more than this wheel. It just can store more energy. If you got other smaller generators, there's your storage. You know, here's your storage. You know, you got a little power pack for your cell phone, right? When you run out of juice, you plug in your little power pack. You got juice. That's what these are for this. I needed a stronger, more powerful inverter. So the AC200 can run everything in your house. Not at one time. But everything in your house, that inverter is strong enough to run. And on my RV, all my ACs, refrigerators, everything. I need that inverter. You can buy storage later. That's why I was on the fence between the 2400 and the two, uh, AC200 and the 2400. I don't need more storage space. I need inverter power. Let me see. Um... Ask I say tell you what I don't like the AC 200P doesn't have physical buttons. I don't like that either. Uh, I I don't like that. I just wish they had a mix of physical and touch. I'm gonna be honest with you. Uh, I let me see. The yeah uh yeah the EB 240 is good running smaller stuff longer. Right right. I'm gonna tell you this. I can't get into this right now, but my Bouge RV refrigerator freezer this one has actual buttons that you can push 
I'm going to be honest with you. A lot of them don't have that right there. So watch this. See that? Physical buttons. And I'm going to unlock it. And I'm going to change the temperature. I'm going to freeze that ice so it'll be easier for me to take out. Who messed with this and put this up so high? I'm going to put that down to zero degrees. You hear that? Click, clack, click, clack, click, clack, click, clack. Now it's going to be at zero degrees Fahrenheit. I just said it. That is what I like. I need everything does not have to be ooh, magical touchscreen. I don't listen. You hear that kick on? Because I just cut that. That I just uh, made that temperature drop. So now it's using my juices and berries over here. I like physical buttons. I don't like touch screens. I don't. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't even like, be honest with you, I don't even like touch screens on my cell phone. I, you just, in an emergency, it's not good enough. What is the size of the fridge? This is the 30, 30, 30 quart. I'll put the link in be, uh, below after we're done. Uh, let me see. Say, Yeti take too long to charge over 20 hours. Really? Let me see. Blue Eddie is coming out with the EP500 with the 51 watt life pole solar generator. I thought they already had that in a 2000 watt inverter. It's on wheels. Yeah, they got, they got that already. That right there, I'm not interested in because I'm not really trying to run my entire house. Uh, I'm going to be honest with you, family. <laughs> let, me, let me shut this down a little bit. I don't want to put my panels on my house. Don't that, I know it sounds crazy, right? Let me see. Can you use the Renogy or Harbor Freight panels on all of those? I can use the Renogy panels on all of these. The Harbor Freight, I haven't tried. They may not be enough uh, volts or watts to come in to even get this stuff to move. The Renogy panels are the truth. The Pecron 2000 or 1500 has the inverter power you're looking for. It's a startup company. What's in them said, uh, reviewed on it. I'm going to have to check it out. Uh, don't need a huge freezer, so that will be, yes, amen to that. Led, I would like to chat with you about solar. How would I contact you? Uh, um, email me at ledfarmer73 at yahoo.com. Uh, hey, Karen says, uh, here in Chicago, there are companies really pushing for everyone to put solar panels in their house and sell back the extra. I believe it. I'm not, you know what? I'm not going to get into that. Um, I'm not going to get into that because, man, I don't believe in that. And I'm just going to start going down a dark alley talking about them. I'm not going to do it. But I, I don't want to put no panels on my house, not even with my own equipment. And this is why. Because if something pop off, I want to be able to grab my panels and bring them in the house. And what I mean by that is your panels on top of your house is going to make you a mark just like a loud gas generator. This is 2021, family, okay? 2021. And looking, looking for solar panels on people's roof is, is normal now. So when you see solar panels on people's roofs, what do you say in your brain? Ooh, they got free power. Right? I just, I'm not ready to put nothing. I'm not ready to mount anything permanently on my house yet. Not yet. Not even from my own. Uh, let me see. Environmental. Yeah. Uh, who was that just said that? Uh, Katrina. Yeah. Was that Katrina? Yeah, Katrina. I'm, I'm not even going to start talking about them folks because, whoo. Y'all see how I got started the other day. Uh, Nessa said, okay, you just answered my question. What question was that, Nessa? Uh, let me see. Anne Marie says, say hi to Lady Led. I sure will. She would love to hear from you, too. Sent you an email. Okay, Ashe, I'll be looking out for it, man. I'm going to check it tonight, okay? Anybody send me an email tonight, I'm going to check it. In the next hour, I'm going to check it before I go to bed. Tonight, now, okay? Let me see. Right, folks will be casing. Exactly. 
And I'm telling you, people are smarter than you think. Criminals are smarter than you think. Sunflare has, okay, Sunflare has flexible panels for your roof. I wouldn't want no flexible panels. Because, you. I mean, they bound to give. I, I, maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm just old school. Just like I was just talking about, I like physical buttons. That flexible stuff, you I mean it's be easier to snap to me. I keep wondering why they need to be flexible anyway. Which brand panels do you recommend for the EB70? I can't recommend which ones, but right now I have two Renergy panels running it. I have two Renergy uh, 100 watt solar panels running my EB70. How you doing, Kenton? Said, what's up, Led? This is first time I'm catching you live. Well, welcome to the Greenhouse Lounge, man. We're talking about solar situations, solar solutions. Uh, how have you been running the AC on the RV? Um, I haven't. We ain't spending the nights in there lately. Now, I was running my, my Honda before, but... And listen, I'm going to tell you this, too. I got to be honest with you, family. I know that refrigeration, I mean, air conditioning is important. It is for certain people, whether you got medical or health problems or for your age, you're going to need something cooler. Do me a favor. Think realistically. Think, I need you to think realistically. There's not always going to be air conditioning around. It's just not. I don't care how bad you want it. It's not going to always, you're not going to always have that luxury if something pop off. My intentions is more on powering a fan. How long can I power, where my box fan at? How long can I power this? Because if I sit right under this, even on a blazing hot day, this is going to take way less energy. Hold on, I'm going to show you this. Let me show you. Straight up, straight up compost this is going to take way less energy than an air conditioning unit air condition is an is a luxury right it's a luxury and the this is the question you have to ask yourself what are you willing to risk for an hour or two hours of luxury versus probably all day or two days of good fan this gonna get the job done i promise you i grew up and i didn't have air conditioning till i was at least 30 years old only time i had air conditioning in my life was when i went into the grocery store so when i moved to atlanta and our house just happened to have air conditioning i th listen Roaches was crawling up the wall and everything, but we had air. I thought I was in uh, uh, um, Atlanta Housewife show. So this, this, I'm going to plug this in right now so we can see that boy roll. This, y'all know these cheap box fans ain't no joke. I'm going to cut him on low. You can see right through him. This is pulling 51 watts, 50 watts on low. On a hot day, I'm going to cut it on three and let's see what we're going to do on high. On high, I'm pulling 71 watts. 71 watts. This is 700 and 16 watt hours. I can run this box fan on high for 10 hours. That's reality, okay? I can run this box fan on high and my whole family can lay on the floor like we always did growing up and when I was grown. Take your shirt off, take off your socks, walk around in your drawers. Listen, we talking about critical situations, okay? Air condition, I'm going to keep that rolling. Air condition is a luxury. It's great to have, 
But don't just keep thinking I need air conditioning or I don't want this unit. Don't think like that or you're going to sell yourself short. Okay? Think about this. In an emergency, you couldn't pick your air conditioning unit up and take it with you anyway. I can grab this with two fingers, probably one, and I can grab that and run for the hills. You got to kind of, I need you to think outside the box. Think about the situation. You know, this is for everybody. Think about the situation and then really think about how you're going to solve it. Say raised with no AC. Lucky to have a fan. Amen to that. Uh, Ask God said, Liv Farmer, I'm, I'm going to do a video on my favorite low power items to use on solar. You should do a video on that too. I will. We might even have to hook up, bro. I, I, I'm with you on that. Um, hey, Liv, what are your thoughts about investing in a freeze dryer? Um, a freeze dryer is running anywhere from 3000 to 5000 and up. If I have to spend three thousand or five thousand dollars to can my food or, or preserve my food, man, there's other ways to do it. I would smoke my food, I would salt my food, I would water bath and pressure can my food years before I even thought about buying a freeze dryer. They're great, but for that price, you got to remember something else too. They're not even going to work in an emergency situation. If there is no power, I'm not going to spend all of my precious energy on how many watts that freeze dryer uses to freeze dry some fish or something, you know. But I could, I could sun bake that. I could smoke it on wood. I could, I could water bath can something on wood. I could pressure can something with wood. But using my precious solar energy that could go to other beneficial things in my household, I would I wouldn't. That's the only you see, I I spend money on something I really think is necessary. I don't really think that one is necessary. That's my own opinion. And you see I got this box fan. I'm not cutting him off, boy. He hitting let me shut up. He hitting me just right. You know what I'm saying? Uh let me see. say let me see you have a real world view on this stuff because you know what i lived some of this stuff i lived it it is not just something i just sit around critically thinking about up in the air like that some of the stuff we've been through so i know like you better it's times to conserve stuff let me see eb 100 100 watt solar panel enough for eb 70 yes Yes, it is. It's just going to charge a little bit slower. But yes, yes, it does a good job. Yes, it is. You know what I do? I kid you not. True story. At first, I was buying one panel at a time. One panel at a time. So far, I'm up to six, right? The last, I bought one panel. Then I bought another one panel. Then I said, I'm going to knock out two panels. Waited, waited. Next month, bought two panels. Waited, waited. And this month, I'm about two more panels that's how i'm gonna do it don't try to put up your whole array at one time either has anyone looked into water catchers from air you mean a dehumidifier thank you patricia joiner who was this thank you jennifer fields say i learned so much from you thanks for all you do thank you so much jennifer fields thank you queen hadassah seven thank you say uh, you really are a blessing for those of us who aren't privy uh, to this info. Please keep keep it coming. I'm doing my best. With all my friends here, we all doing this together. It ain't just me. Because I'm experimenting so you don't have to do it. And trust me, it, 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 it hurts sometimes. But trust me, I'm, I'm having fun doing it. Marmar said, yeah, growing up in the 70s, you learned to survive those box fans. And you know what? This box fan was your AC because even now, as hot as it is outside with the humidity level, if I put this box fan in my window, that's AC all day. You might wake up with the sniffles, but that's cold, cold, humid, nice air that's going to hit your backbone all night long like Lionel Richie. 
let me see, USB fans would be ideal because you can skip the DC to AC uh, converter. Booyah! I'm going to plug it up over here just so you can see it. Boom. There you go. USB fan right there, baby. I just got this a little while ago, and I'm already blown away. Bam. Little baby fan. Cut that pudding right here. Hit me right in the neck bone. You, you can't go wrong. Yeah, little baby wind turbines. What's? Oh, I must have missed something. Hey, uh, say so, hey, family led. Got my husband to listen to what he talks about. Then in itself is a miracle. <laughs> Thank you, Joe Trot. Say so, I really enjoy uh, this channel, man. I enjoy y'all coming by because I be I be just as excited as some other people. Uh, Nadia says I have several box fans. I mean USB fans. Guess what? Tomorrow I would go tonight if it wasn't so dark and late. Tomorrow, I'm going to pick up about three more of these bad boys. These, I like. It's more powerful than you think. I'm going to show you on, on this. It's more powerful than you think. And this is all wet and, and gooey. That boy right there. Look, normally I'm all sweating. It's hot in here. But that boy keeping me right. Thank you, New Orleans Gardener. Thank you, T-Nog. You know you ain't had to do that. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> Game Nerd Mom said, put, put one uh, facing in the window and the other facing out. Oh, Game Nerd Mom, you from Toledo, so you already know how we do it. You already know. You Game Nerd Mom is from where I'm from. That's how we all do it. And you know, in our city, nobody has AC. They probably do now. Nobody. Nobody. Everybody had a fan in the window. One, if you if you got money, you got a wind a fan going in one window and coming out the back. So yeah, you got two fans. Oh, y'all got money. Y'all got money like that. Yeah, you know, my daddy work at Jeep. You know, it's, I mean, it is what it is. I remember that day. So yeah, I had that baby box fan that night. Uh, one twenty five. Uh, just can't breathe it. Just can't beat it. No, you cannot. Okay, I purchased the Bougeard V 53 quart fridge for 319 yesterday. You know what? I'm going to be able to help you out with that in a minute. Shit, I hold on. I'm going to be able to help you out. Okay? I'm going to be able to help you out. You going to melt with no AC? No, you won't. It's all in your head. No, you won't. Listen, it's, it's, it's like a relationship. Sometimes you get a little uncomfortable, but you carry on. So, uh, let me see, fan in the downstairs window and one upstairs blowing. Good. Who said that? You already know. You already know. We had the whole house fan in the attic. It was the truth. Oh, y'all had money, huh? <laughs> y'all had money. So, yeah, you know, my daddy worked at uh, Ford. You know, he was an engineer. We got a house fan in the attic. Suck all the air up out the basement. Go straight up to the attic. Shoot out the roof. I'm going to get out of here, y'all. I'm going to let y'all go. But I'm going to say this right now. The only reason I, I did this video tonight, because I didn't want you to be hasty and make a mistake. And just, just because it's the, the prime day sales, don't go out there just buying any old thing. Okay? I'm going to, I'm going to give... I've been putting up those polls for a reason of everybody voting. Lead Farmers pick of the day, pick of the year is the Blue Eddy EB70. Blue Eddy EB70. If I could only pick one out of everything I have, out of everything I have, I would pick this because price plus the power, plus the inverter, plus the charging, the speed of the charging, plus, I like the color. This is the best purchase I've made out of all of this. The Blue Eddy EB70 is the champ to me. That's the champ all day. 
Nothing can hold a candle to it. Not even his big brother. Because when you think about this, think. All this has on this is how much it can store, right? This is 716 watts. That's 1500 watts. That's only half of this. This power is half of that. That's a grand. This is for some change. If you got two of these, you would have just as much power, but you would have two of these stored. Same everything. This I would do. This is the channel. That boy right there. Let me see. You need to check out Eco Pro. I'm. You know what? I'm going to. Uh, I was just. He always talking about uh, Eco Flow river and stuff i'm going to but i'm having a hard time i need to see somebody with that that i know i i keep seeing people that that like is being sponsored by it by the people and i need to see somebody's real life feeling about about it see, uh what you want to see i want to see the uh eco flow river either pro delta whatever before i spend that money i need to see more about it and not from people that's just representing the company. Somebody I know, you know, I kind of trust. Just ordered the mint color on Amazon. Mmm. Mmm. Say, oh, okay, the Pro is the same as the Max. And basis. Okay, I just need to, I need to do more research on them. They all do the same thing. They just higher capacity. Okay, just like the Jackeries, huh? All right, Marmar. Mar. Yeah, everybody, shop wise, what are you doing for water? I don't understand the question, USA. Uh, EcoFlow runs too hot. Do you have an EcoFlow mailbox? I want to see it. I'm not sponsored and I'm not represented by anyone. So, which one do you have um, revealed, like? The eco flow which one environmental coffee house at least are you interested in climate change I'm, I'm gonna take I'm gonna take that down uh, okay cuz I don't that might take us down a dark alley somewhere okay I need a cable to extend from my blue eddy to the panels I prefer life pole power stations they sold out of the red color yeah I, uh, what does sine word wave mean? I'm gonna have you. I'm gonna have you look that up, okay? Uh, environmental coffee. Oh, you good? Environmental? You good? You good? No, I just you know people latch latch onto that and take it somewhere stinking. You know, garbage juice all up and down the alleyways, and they'll be all rolling around in it. But you know, I'm with you though. Thank you. Uh, finally get to see you live. Thanks for informing us. You are so welcome, Ian. Thank you for that. Did you see Max Max Oak portable power station, 500 watt Blue Eddy AC50? Yeah, yeah, I did. I did see that one, and um, I almost bought that one, but it was like I just couldn't. I just couldn't. Hit the switch on it. You know, something just kept eating at me. Next thing you know, they came out with this. So I'm glad I waited. EB70, different colors. I guess mint is fashionable. I mean, it's all a little fashionable, but, you know, they... Ah, I'm not going to go there. But, yeah, you know, it was either red or black for me. Let me see. Ask God says, AC50 is too old. They tried to update the AC50. Uh, remember... And they put the pure sign inverter in it and stuff. It, it just was still just not making me feel like, you know, I just was like, ah, I'm going to hold off. EcoFlow River Pro. USA said EcoFlow River Pro, 750 watts plus expands to 1400 with attachable battery. Okay, I'm going to have to look into this EcoFlow business. Um, are there any solar power coolers? Solar power coolers that I could serve to keep my medicine. Yes, um, 
Fadissa, do me a favor. I'm going to release this video tomorrow for everybody that's in the room tonight. Everybody that's still in the room, listen to me. I am going to release a video tomorrow and show you about refrigeration. Basically, solar refrigeration. The 12 volt refrigerator freezer from Bouge RV, what I just showed you, is running, look, is running off of my blue eddies. See that cigarette lighter? That's what this is running off of. Now you can also plug it into the wall, okay? So it takes less watts when you run it through your DC port. So trust and believe this, this is the truth. And uh, I, I know you said you don't like uh, attachments, uh, but I had to have one. So I could have two separate lighter ports for that one port that they come with. Let me see. I run my Bouge RV off my EcoFlow River, right? Usually I run one Bouge RV uh, refrigerator freezer off of this and the other one off of this. <laughs> I saw you on the video. It was like, man, I just don't like, you know, the, I was cracking up because I looked back at mine like, ah, I know why you don't either, but I had to do it. See, I respect that. A splitter that makes sense. Yeah, you get just get more, you know, get more for less. Now, I won't buy the one that's about got four of them dangling. Now it's going to start getting stupid after a while, you know. Let me see. Uh, ditto Lisa. Okay, got that. And had to blend the radiator to the winner. So listen, I'm going to start getting, getting this video ready to upload it tomorrow. And we're going to talk about emergency refrigeration. Tomorrow will be the video of emergency refrigeration. Okay, I'm going to make sure I put that video out tomorrow. And there will also be a savings code. savings code. You ain't going to want to miss this. Don't buy no refrigeration yet until you talk to me tomorrow. Wait till you see this video tomorrow before you buy any refrigeration. I'm going to throw y'all out a code that's going to save you some money on a Bouge RV refrigerator freezer 12 volt DC AC. Okay, you can plug it into your house or you can plug it into your car socket. Or you can plug it into your solar power generator. I'm about to tear y'all up. I've been waiting. I've been waiting and I wanted to do it right, but I can't do it right. I got to be me. So I'm going to have to just go ahead, boom, let y'all know all about it. And I'm going to tell you now, it's worth it. I'm going to show you one more time. I'm going to show you one more time. You ain't going to want to miss this video, okay? It's going to be short and sweet, but look. I got, I'm going to show you a sneak peek. Everybody that's here tonight, I'm going to show you a little sneak peek of it, okay? little sneak peek. Y'all see the little baby brother? He's my favorite. I like him. But big bruh, big bruh, I can't show you no more than that. Big bruh got the light inside. Big bruh ain't punking around, okay? This is the freezer part. See, I got my frozen berries and stuff. I got my ice cream popping off in here, right? Frozen solid. You can see the ice, like solid gold. But at the same time on this side, you got your refrigerator freezer. This your refrigerator over here. I got my salary sticks. And my favorite. Got my pickles. Refrigeration. Now, that's the sneak peek of tomorrow's video. If you want to save some money on this and get this and have this in your house for emergency situations. So when my power went out the other day, I had stuff in here. I put this stuff in here for a reason. So I hurried up and grabbed some stuff out of my refrigerator and threw it in here and ran it off my solar power generators. This is for your medication. This is for the important things you do. You need to keep your food cold 
and now the power is starting to go out more and more and is, is lasting even longer. One minute is out for an hour, next minute it's out for a few, now it's out for days at a time and somebody was just telling me a week and some change. Emergency refrigeration, you gotta have it, all right? So I'm gonna tell you a lot about it because this one I put to the test at my job. I had this running in my, my mail truck right here. Keeping my lunch and everything cold. I just kept this in my truck. Boom. I didn't have to use a cooler no more. No more coolers. No more of these right here. No more of that. No more of this. It's in there for a couple hours. Your ice is melted and your sandwich is soggy. No more of that. All right? From day one, this stuff has been in here for weeks frozen solid all right it's good for backyard barbecues y'all see me out there i was doing a live about a month ago and i had the little brother the uh 30 quart outside while i was talking to y'all cutting up all my drinks was cold all my food was cold ice cold it don't take them long to get cold okay as soon as you plug him in it's instant it's instant so tomorrow I'm going to be releasing that video. Please be looking out for it because I'm going to have a discount code just for you if you're interested in emergency refrigeration. So you can stop trying to figure out how you're going to keep your big house refrigerator running. All it got in it is two jars of pickle and a black banana. And you're trying to keep it running and waste your solar power juice, right? I'm going to show you you need your insulin, you need all your medications and certain things cold, this is gonna be the way to do it, all right? Thank you so much. Do me a favor, keep your eyes peeled because I'm going to put up a community post and let you know when it's coming, all right? So you be ready for it, all right? This cold is gonna save you. I'm so glad that this happened, but thank you guys for watching. I'm gonna get on out of here, go up here and snuggle up and hug up to my honey. I love y'all. Listen to me. Stay positive. Sometimes the world is scratching at the door like a werewolf. But if you stay positive, it cannot come through the doors like the story with the three little pigs. They keep huffing and puffing and blow your door in. Listen, build your house of bricks. Build your house of bricks. The big bad wolf can't get in if you build your house of bricks, not sticks, not straw. See, that story was a fairy tale story. It was a nursery rhyme story, but it was it was real. It meant something real. It means something even more to you as an adult. As a kid, it was funny. As an adult, it means so much more because if you build your house of brick, Nothing can penetrate you. No evil can penetrate you. You understand? Build your house of brick. Don't be fragile and build your house out of straw or build your house out of sticks. Because that just lets the enemy in. They can just walk right through the door. They'll huff and they'll puff like they always do. And they'll blow your front door in and devour you from the inside out. If you build your house, if you build your soul of brick, nothing can penetrate you. Truth is the brick. Lies are the big bad wolf. Lies cannot penetrate bricks. Lies cannot penetrate the truth. Everybody, have a wonderful night. Stay positive. Don't let nobody get to you. Leo Farmer 73, I love you and I'm out.